since learning how to use an Excel spreadsheet is a component of this particular course, I would like to show you how to graph two equations on the same coordinate axis on an Excel spreadsheet. So the first system of equations we have is 3x plus 5y is equal to a negative 9, and x plus 4y is equal to a negative 10. Starting with 3x plus 5y equals a negative 9, we're going to solve 4y. So we add a negative 3x to both sides of the equation, and we get 5y equals a negative 3x minus y. Dividing both sides of the equation by 5, we get y is equal to a negative 3 fifths times x plus a negative 9 fifths, telling us the slope of this line is a negative 3 fifths, and the y-intercept is a negative 9 fifths. Now we're going to have many different ordered pairs, and I'm going to put in a group of them. So I'm going to start off with negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and now I want to fill in the rest of the numbers. So I highlight these three numbers, and I scroll down till I'm getting a positive 4. And now I want to find the numerical value for y when x goes from a negative 3 to a positive 4. To create a formula in Excel, we start with equals. Let's start that again. We open the parenthesis. I have a negative 3 divided by 5, close parentheses, times, click on the negative 3 so that we can copy this formula, plus we have a negative 9 divided by 5, close parentheses, equal, we get 0. So that is the x-intercept. We scroll down. We have these values now. And I want to be able to find the line for this particular equation. So I highlight the x and the y values. We go to Insert. You're going to see the dots over here. We're going to insert a scatter plot where I want straight lines. And this is the graphic equation of y is equal to negative 3 fifths x plus a negative 9 fifths. Now we're going to go to the second equation, and we're going to graph it on the same coordinate axis. Starting with the equation x plus 4y is equal to a negative 10. We go ahead, and we are going to again solve for y. So we have 4y is equal to a negative x minus 10. Dividing all terms by 4, we get y is equal to a negative 1 fourth times x plus a negative 10 fourths, telling us the y, the slope is negative 1 fourth, and the y-intercept is negative 10 fourths or negative 5 halves. Now we're going to start the same system all over again. We want to be able to create our equation, so we press equals, open parentheses, negative 1 divided by 4, close parentheses, times x, and remember I click on that, plus, open parentheses, negative 10 divided by 4, close parentheses. Now that that is correct, we click it, and we get negative 1 and 75 hundredths. Again, we scroll down to copy the information, and we have all of the ordered pairs. Now we want to put these ordered pairs in the graph, and since we want it on the same graph, we go back to our graph, we right-click, and you notice this template comes up, and you're going to go to select data. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to call the first equation by its name, so I'm going to edit that, and I'm just going to click on the name of 3x plus 5y is equal to a negative 9, and you see that that has been changed. I press OK. Now I want to add new information. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add in the name of the second equation, which is x plus 4y is equal to a negative 10. I want to go ahead and I want to put in all of the x values, which I want to go from a negative 3 to a positive 4. And I was in the wrong column. I go back to the x. Let me go back over here. I'm going to have to redo that, but let's we have the x series. I go from a negative 3 to a positive 4 for the y values, and it always pays to go in the right window. I go from a negative 1 and 7500 to 3 and 5 tenths, and now I'm going to go back 
to name the graph, which is x plus 4y is equal to a negative 10. I press OK, and we notice that these two are definitely there now. Press the press OK on here. And now we go up and we notice we have both graphs. The blue one is, and you notice the series, 3x plus 5y is equal to a negative 9. The orange one is the series of the x plus 4y is equal to a negative 10. And you notice the point of intersection, if we click on it over here, is the ordered pair 2, negative 3. And now we have solved that system of simultaneous equations. Let's try another one quickly. We have y is equal to 2x plus 3. It's in the right format again. And we know the slope is 2. The y-intercept is 3. So again, we're going to graph this line by equal 2 times the negative 3 plus 3. And we have that that is the ordered pair negative 3, negative 3. We scroll down. We have all of the points. Again, I'm going to highlight this information. And we're going to go to Insert. We go to the scatter plot. We want the straight line. And there is the graph of this equation. Notice that because the slope is positive, the line is going in the upwards direction. Going to the next ordered, next line, we have the, oh, the line, the equation, which says x plus 2y is equal to a negative 4. Subtracting x from both sides, we have 2y equals negative x minus 4. Dividing both sides by 2, we have y is equal to negative 1 half times x minus 2. Now again, we want to be able to find the y values when x goes from a negative 3 to 4. So we press equals, open parentheses, negative 1 divided by 2, close parentheses, times the x, minus 2. And we have that information. And now we, again, we're going to scroll down over here, getting these points. And again, I want to be able to have all this information listed. So I'm going to go and to the graph. And again, I'm going to right click. And we're going to go to select data. Here, I'm going to edit. So I want to be able to have the equation instead of having y. We have y is equal to 2x plus 3. And I want to make sure it takes that. And then we press OK. Now I'm going to add a new equation. And we're going to add the equation x plus 2y is equal to a negative 4. Scrolling down into this box, make sure the cursor is there. We go from a negative 3 to a positive 4. Over here, remember, we do not want any numbers there and not until we scroll down from a negative 5 tenths to a negative 4. And again, everything is there. We go up to our two equations, and we have this one is y equals 2x plus 3. This one is the equation x plus 2y is equal to a negative 4. We scroll on the point of intersection, not the horizontal axis. And you notice that the two lines meet where x is equal to a negative 2, and y looks like it's equal to a negative 1. And we notice the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1 for the first equation. And we have the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1 for the second equation. And we now solve these equations graphically on an Excel spreadsheet.